Welcome at tutorial number 7 of the computer aided railway modeler called SCARM. I guess most of us recognize this situation where we created a wonderful layout just to find out that in the end we could not connect the end point to the start point because there simply was no combination of standard rails that fills the gap. They were all too short or too long or the angle is not right. This is where a flex rail can come to rescue. Let's see how SCARM can handle flex rail for us. We will open up the program and first thing we are going to do, we have been working with the Marklin C-Track so far. That uh, does not contain a flex rail however, so I click this little arrow, look for the HO Atlas 100 track because I know that has a flex rail, as you see over here. Let's create a start point. Left click the red arrow, left click the layout. Let's now add a flex rail to just see quickly how it handles in general. Okay, there it is. You see, as soon as I am in a neighborhood with my mouse pointer, it starts to bend and it snaps a little bit if it is straight. And what I can do is simply left click. It still has some length uh, for me to go, so I can left click again and finally make a little straight and left click. And now I have used up all of the length. Let's do it again and this time create only a curve. Okay, a new start point. I click the flex rail again and I want to make one curve, let's say somewhat over here in this direction. You can read in the middle uh, where I am over here and also in the status bar at the bottom you can read what you are exactly doing. When I am satisfied with where I am I can uh, right click and then it pinpoints it and cuts it off in one action, which is really handy of course. Let's now try to see if we can fill a gap fully automatic. Let me first create a situation that simulates a gap. I add a few straights, I hit slash and I delete this rail. So this is what we end up with. Uh, I just created the most wonderful mountain track through the mountains, through tunnels, I don't know what, over a lake, over a bridge and then I come here with a long straight and there I am. I need to connect these two points, but my standard library does not contain the right length or the right angle. What I do is click my flex rail and I go with my mouse pointer to the other point and see what happens. It colors, I can left click and it snaps my flex rail exactly with the right, the needed dimensions. That's wonderful, that's very fast even. However, this situation was a little bit cheating because I started with this flex rail and then deleted it. Uh, so let's make it a little bit more complex. Right now we simulate the situation where this is also shifted a bit, so I need a little bit of a straight. There is no solution with only a curve. I hit slash to zoom to fit, click my endpoint and let's see if SCARM can automatically help me out with this. I move to the uh, other side that I need to bridge and yes it snaps and see what it has done. It has created a straight of the length it needed and it has created a curve. So this is actually really intelligent. SCARM can help me out with these kind of situations with the straight and the curve. Of course not all situations can be solved. Uh, suppose that these uh, endpoints were uh, quite close together well we can already feel a little bit that this is never going to be able to be solved the flex rail has a minimal radius that is programmed in the library and there is no way it can connect to this so what we need to take care of in these kind of situations is that we at least uh, try to have the endpoints that we need to connect uh, on a suitable distance so that we can as smooth have as smooth as possible curves. Okay, I can imagine another situation that is where we have two parallel tracks that we need to connect. So let us simulate that. 
control click and move this away a little bit now obviously uh, a single straight and a single curve will never do the trick i need an s curve go up go down and a piece of straight probably let us see if scarm can help us out with this okay well first of all i think i am much too close uh, together so what i will do is uh, move zoom out a bit and first of all take care that this endpoint is a little bit further away. Let's do that first. Otherwise, I know already that a solution is quite difficult. Yes, so this is the situation we are going to solve. I add a flex rail, and as you can see, it does not snap to this point. It cannot find a solution. Well, we have to help it a little. Let's say we bridge half of the gap already by hand, left click and see if it can help out now yes it can so we have to little give a little bit of help and click somewhere in the middle and then it can create for us automatically a curve another curve and a piece of straight well this is really a very handy function very intelligent also in the next tutorial we are still going to have another look at FlexTrack and we are going to use it over there for a larger and more loose layout uh, that couples us loose from the standard track library and also we will have a look at how we can create exact dimensions for our FlexRail. See you over there.